Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video and we are right off of I-4 here today for week four of the Hollowed Haunt Tour because we are at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail here in Plant City, Florida. I love this event. Huge shout out to the Knights of Horror for allowing me to use their media to come out here for this event. I love being able to cover this event. So being able to use their media to come out here, fantastic and huge shout out to uh, Sir Henry's for inviting them and myself out here to check out this event. Super excited to check out this event for another year. They have done a ton of stuff this year. They have three haunts and a hayride this year. It's one of the first hayrides here in the state of Florida. So I'm super excited to be able to see that and really compare it to the ha haunts that I've grown up with up in Pennsylvania and the hayrides and the high quality hayrides that they have up there. But if you guys are excited to check out this event, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below. Um, and also make sure you're following both Instagram and Twitter. The links are down in the description below and subscribe while you're at it. But now let's check out this year's event. So like I said, this haunt is just off of I-4, so they do have on-site parking, but I will say it gets filled up pretty fast, so you want to get here early if you're planning on coming out. This event does start this weekend, so you want to make sure you get your tickets early. Tickets are sold online, and they benefit certain organizations. So Sir Henry's is a an event that all of the proceeds that they make off of it go back into the haunt as well as other charitable organizations. Um, so this year they are give, donating to Give Kids the World as well as Folds of Honor. So make sure if you're coming out here, you know that your money's going to the good to a good place. Um, and then specifically here. Um, they also offer uh, advanced online tickets. That's the only way you can get your tickets is advanced online, as well as they do have season passes. So if you want to come more than once, you might want to get yourself that season pass. And they have a brand new entrance for this year. Love kind of like the cathedral-esque vibe of it with the, the trees kind of growing up from the sides. I love that. That is so good this year. Um, and they actually have turnstiles this year. I, they have really jumped up the quality so far this year. But if you are coming, you get in line over here and then you would walk in through the entrance right in the middle. I'm excited. People are already getting in line for media night. Maybe we should start getting ready. So we have just been let in for tonight's event. There are a ton of scare actors around. There are haunts open. We have availability to go through everything as many times as we want. So I am gonna, I'm getting multiple run throughs of stuff, man. It's gonna be a great night. We're gonna check out everything. We're gonna talk to some scare actors that are just chilling out here in the midway. It's, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. You better be ready. So this year in the midway, we have our corn dogs as always. We got Pelican Snowballs, and new over here, we have a really awesome photo op. It looks so good. Uh, you definitely, if you're coming out here, wanna stop by and take a picture in front of this cool photo op. You got a couple pumpkin guys back there, some jack-o'-lanterns all around. It is a really nice photo op for this year. And as the last couple years, we do have a new centerpiece right here in the middle of our midway. It's got a little tree boy here. He looks he looks pretty cool, man. Look at him. But uh, definitely sets the vibe for the entire night. Oh, and there's a really nice looking cauldron over there. That's a cool effect right there. So here we go. We have some spooky eats over here. Let's see what we got for this year. 10 seasons of horror. We got grilled cheese nachos, loaded nachos, pretzels, popcorns, donuts, cotton candy, a whole bunch of different flavors of cotton candy. Wow. Bunch of different spooky treats, including cookies, cake pops, Rice Krispie treats. Let's see what else we got. And a whole bunch of different drinks, including a souvenir cup for this year. Awesome. But definitely want to check out some food here over at the Spooky Eats. And once again, they have two new escape games here. We got Poppy's Playhouse and the Final Voyage. I remember doing these escape games the last the last time I was here. They are honestly really well done for being five minute escape games. And they both look really nice this year. This Final Voyage one though looks especially fun. 
and any tickets for this for escape games can be purchased over at Sir Henry's Booze, which is over here across the midway. And new for this year, they have axe throwing. So they got two different axe throwing pods here. And if you want to do axe throwing, it is $5 per person for nine throws. And once again, tickets available over at Sir Henry Booze. But I think it's finally time that we go and check out the entrances to all of our haunts that we're going to be checking out this year at this event. There are a bunch of really cool ones that you do not want to miss. So our first one all the way in the back is the newly rebuilt for this year, Moonlight Massacre. And this is kind of our werewolf house. So it, this looks really cool. And from what I'm hearing about the work that is done on the inside of it, they did a fantastic job completely revamping this house and making it look even better. I am super excited to check out Moonlight Massacre this year. And new for this year, like I said, they have that Haunted Hayride. There's our entrance right next to where Moonlight Massacre was. This is the entrance to Legends of Halloween Haunted Hayride. And this is a kind of catalog of the last 10 years of Sir Henry's Haunted Trail and just kind of what the the success they've been able to have here and all the different characters that they've included over the last 10 years as well as you know traditional Halloween stuff. Here is attraction number three this is Tales of the Dead and this is kind of like their icon house for this year this is their Sir Henry icon house for this year we have been asking for it for a while and it's finally happened. I'm excited to check out this one tonight. And this one, once again, just to the left of Legends of Halloween. So basically it just goes all around the circle here. And our last house entrance is up towards the front and it's Wicked Waters. This is kind of like our swampy bayou, bayou witch house. And that is right over here next to Sir Henry Booze and right by the entrance. So this is going to be the first one that you see if you look directly right from when you walk in. And like I said, right next to Wicked Waters is Sir Henry Booze. This is where you are going to purchase some merchandise as well as get your tickets if you are going to do any of the axe throwing or escape rooms. And they do book up fast, so if you want to get tickets to do any of those experiences, stop here very early on in your trip. They have a bunch of merchandise for this year. They got magnets, including the logo for their new Haunted Hayride and their podcast. They got socks, $12 for socks, and they come in a couple different variations. And then they have their, their set of novels, one, two, and three, that are available. And these are also available on Amazon if you can't get to the event. And they have stickers. They have a ton of options for stickers this year. They have pins. Definitely like, might snag myself a 10th anniversary Sir Henry Haunted Trail pin because I do actually do not have any Sir Henry pins. More Sir Henry pins. We got one of Pyram. We have one of Beatrice. We have one of the Bride and the Legends of Halloween logo. And of course, like I said, more of those stickers. And the last couple things that we have are this really cool Sir Henry's Haunted Trail mug with a really awesome green inside. And as always, the last couple years, we have candles for each individual trail. So we have Tales of the Dead, Moonlight Massacre, Wicked Waters, and Legends of Halloween, as well as the very big uh, candle that you can get for the just overall event. This one, I can smell from here, smells fantastic. Spending your five moments walking among the dead when you have eternity to wander aimlessly. Tonight, this land will be destroyed once and for all. The curse I placed upon Boggy Meadow many moons ago will now be fulfilled. Sir Henry and his lineage will be no longer. The Phantom and his freaks will suffer their final fate. And all of you will follow with their despair.
The witching season starts now. <laughs> So we're about to head into Moonlight Massacre. The light, I'm gonna turn it off because it's a little bit too bright. We tried to go through it once. We're gonna go through it a second time um, and turn the light off so I can actually see and enjoy the house and actually get some scares because could not see it all with this light on. Okay, Try attempt number two here to go through this house without any light this time. Did you hear what happened to my father? No, I Did didn't. You hear Okay. Did you hear what the old hag did to the farmer? No, what did she, she do? She turned him into a beast! She turned him into a beast? How stupid could they be? That's dumb. Hi. My curse doomed this village into a lifetime of bloodshed! He really fell for it! Endless fortune? Now there will be a massacre every full moon! No! Oh, my favorite scare actor is coming up. Hi! <laughs> oh, it's dark. It is so dark. Oh, hi! Oh, God! Ugh! <laughs> Okay. Uh, Do you think he's gonna find oh. me here? No, no, you're good. Do you think he's gonna find me? Shh. No, you're you good. You're me? good. As long as you stay quiet, you're good. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> two times! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, now I can see the church and it looks even better. Look at that. Great. Oh, hi. Me. Okay. <laughs> The cure? Yeah, but I'm not like a dog! Okay. I have the cure! Well, Spade, I have it! I swear, you saw him, right? He's been terrorizing everyone. He's been terrorizing this place for months, but I have it! I can get rid of him. I, okay. can, I, can, I can fix this town. I can save everyone. I trust you. I, I trust it. you. I have it before he gets rid of me! Oh, oh I've oh. been given an opportunity <laughs> to confuse new bodies. Oh, how I just love you. Shut you up. Okay. Jeez. From meat, bone from bone, and it's still up here on a silver platter. Oh. That big dastardly. Uh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh no. Oh, oh, this is even worse. Oh, this is even. Oh, I, I don't like. Oh. Shit. It is too dark. There are statues all over the place. I don't like it. No. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. I see figures. I, mm. I hate that even more. I hate that even more. Yeah, that, that part that part doesn't... I don't like that part. Oh, is... How, how dark is this part? Oh! Jeez. Oh, uh, uh. Stinky. Uh. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh. This uh, it smells so bad in here, man. It smells like blood. Uh. I, I'm trying not to breathe in. This is bad. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Come on! It's just a wolf! 
And now we turn the blinding light back on because we just got through Moonlight Massacre. Honestly, really enjoyed that. There was a really awesome set design in there, awesome costumes. The scares, that some of them were fantastic. Others were a little bit of a cheaper scare, but as far as like costuming for some of those scare actors, they were awesome. I honestly, I love this. I think I like that house more than the one that they had last year, which was the hollow. I really like the, the whole had the swordsman vibe, but this one just seems so much more well done. And I love how long the experience is. It really is, it really is awesome. Although Legends of Halloween is directly next to Moonlight Massacre, I think we're gonna do this one a little bit later, but we'll, we'll enjoy everything else and then hit this one up last. All right, here we are. Our next attraction, Tales of the Dead. Like I said earlier, this is kind of our Sir Henry's icon house. Alrighty, heading into our second house. Welcome! Welcome! The legends are true! Oh, hi. <laughs> the legends are true! You may see Sir Henry too. Ooh! <laughs> hi! Hi! How are you? Would you like to be my next victim? I Depends. Think yes. Yeah! Ooh! Oh! Hi! Oh! Uh, he's gonna put my bones in his throne. Oh! Oh! oh. Yes, Hi, Poppy. Oh. Hi, Poppy. Hi. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Christ. Yo, I did not, did not expect that one. Uh, uh, ah, I knew it. Oh, oh, there's, 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 there's mirrors. I don't like the mirrors. There's, uh, 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 hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? Go! Ah! Okay. I can't see! Mr. Squidward! Oh gosh. <laughs> no, no. Also, no. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, I just go straight. Put up, put up, stiff arm. Stiff, stiff arm. Uh -oh. Stiff arm. Stiff arm. Stiff arm. Stiff arm. Follow the noise. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> Stiff arm. Stiff arm. O-line. Lead blocker. Oh, God. No! No, not swamp effect. Oh, there. The tails! Oh! Hi. Okay. Okay. Oh! oh my Sir God. Henry, how dare you? How, how dare you? <laughs> All right, so I don't know how much you guys saw of that house. It was very dark, but I honestly really enjoyed it. We got to see a whole bunch of the characters from uh, Sir Henry's past. Even we got to see Sir Henry at the very end. Um, how dare he once, honestly, because it scared the hell out of me right at the end as we were walking out. And, uh, and we got followed through most of the house by one of the scare actors. That was really like an intimate experience from the scare actors. It was awesome. And um, Poppy did, scared the hell out of me. There were a couple seconds where I was, it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. So anything popping up got me. They had a swamp effect, which at, long followers of the channel know that gets me every single time. That one, not gonna lie, better than Moonlight Massacre, in my opinion. That one's number one as of right now. But we have one more trail left, and then we got that Haunted Hayride to hit up. All right, our last trail before we hit up that Haunted Hayride, Wicked Waters. And honestly, the last couple years I've been here, this has been my favorite house. So at least the one in this location has been my favorite house. So I'm excited to, to head back in. All right, 
our last trail. What are you supposed to be? Okay. 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 There's a nice car behind us. Paint that the audio to There's also witches! There's witches! Uh We're digging with the ditches and burning with the witches. Oh he's got it. He got it. He's got eczema. One. Oh. 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 <laughs> 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 we got a tag along. Oh gosh. Um. Uh uh. No. I don't like this. Oh! Oh! Oh no, my heart. I, I, I'm, I'm too I'm too busy oh recovering God, from that God. other guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Um, yeah. Um, I, I can't right now. I can't right now. My heart. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, I. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a child! You know There's well, only one thing worse than a rapist. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> a child? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> ah! Oh! Don't leave me here! Don't leave me here! Too damn bad! Nope! Nope! Nah, no, you're good. You're, you'll live. No! Oh, that's whoa, that's cool. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> I, I just felt something touch my arm. <laughs> By far the scariest one here. I physically jumped in one section. I I needed a couple rooms to recover from one of those scares. I was not paying attention at all to this side. I was more paying attention to the other, and he got up in my face, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, as you probably heard. Um, but yeah, that one was really good as far as the scare department. Sets were a little, were pretty good. I think I enjoy the sets in Moonlight Massacre more, but as far as scares go, Wicked Waters, hands down, has the best scares here. And then a nice mixture of both is is here right next to us at um, at the at the Tales of the Dead. I think that one is the nice mixture of, of the both of them. But if you're looking for drop dead scares, Wicked Waters, a hundred percent. Oh my God, I I need to recover from that. But we have one more left, and that is that haunted hay ride. And then we get a couple run throughs of, of them again and just so I can give my final feelings and final reviews of them. All right, here we go. Our last attraction of the night, Legends of Halloween, Haunted Hayride, heading in. Now I will say from personal experience with other attractions, Haunted Hayrides, you may want to hit this first if you're planning on going here because hayrides tend to have much longer waits than just walk through attractions because hayrides tend to be, you know, you have to wait for that, for that, uh, trailer to come back around so they tend to be longer waits so if you're planning on coming here definitely want to hit up this first oh my god look I was wondering where his statue went it's beautiful Sir Henry and we're heading into his mausoleum here we are we're getting on yeah all right we are on our way through the hayride can't really see me but hello <laughs> um, I'm gonna be super critical about this hayride Pennsylvania, my home state, they are known for hayrides, so this better be, this better be great. How you doing, my boy? 
Oh. On Hell's Eve, a wagon full of mortals dare cross into my woods. The skeleton serpent warns you not to come. I shall finish you off as I will him, but not before you suffer as he does. No, you will be punished greatly, just as this poor soul here and this oh. one too. The creatures that roam these woods will be awakened from their slumber and sent to hunt you down. Dominus, Bestius, Exeter, Tormenta, Et, Tormenta, Eos, Quimos, Adventuroso, Adversanto. Now you will see my full wrath. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at the sets in here. This is awesome. Whoa. Uh-oh. Trick or treat. But there are only tricks here. The creature No, that is a finger. I don't think that's edible. Always check your candy. Always check your candy. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that. We got a big barn that we're heading into. That looks really cool. Oh gosh. Uh, uh oh. We got, we got somebody over there. Ooh, doggy. Fresh fertilizer. Those scarecrows can smell your rotting flesh now. Hi. We use humans to fertilize our flesh. He's gotta do what he's gotta do. The corn tastes so much sweeter with human blood anyway. Don't go snooping around or telling anyone about our little secret here. But you will. The harvester will see to that himself. <laughs> oh! Yo! <laughs> Yo. This next section has me written all over it, guys. Look at the pumpkins in the trees. Look at all of them. Whoa. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many pumpkins. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's a really awesome church we're heading into. 
Uh-oh, we got a scare actor like up above us. Oh! Oh gosh. So, these are the guests I've been eagerly waiting on. You look frightened. Are you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> You're just in time for dinner. Well, our dinner. <laughs> it's feeding time for Omar. Yes, he's a little feral, but we must keep him locked away in the basement. But don't worry, I don't think he can eat all of you. And whoever he doesn't, I'll be more than happy to show my hospitality. Oh! Yo! Oh! That got me a little bit there. That one got me. Okay. So, I gotta be 100% honest about that hayride. As a person who grew up going on hayrides, have gone on tons of high quality hayrides, either it be your Field of Screams, your Reaper's Revenge, uh, Valley of Fear even, um, a whole bunch of different attractions I have been to that have had haunted hayrides. Do I think this one is good? It's okay, it's a good first attempt. They have good things in there. Do I think they can build off it? Yes. But is it a really good hayride? I don't think so. I think that this is kind of something that your normal local haunt would put together, not anything that's really high quality. Um, I hate to really say that, because they. It's, but I really want to give you guys an honest review about it. It's There's some cool sets. But I've seen, I just want to tell you, I've seen better at different haunts around the area. Um, I think, like I said, I think that they can build on this. And I think that it can be great. They just need more time. But as a first year of having it, it had some really good aspects. But there are some spots that definitely need to be filled. Um, and there were just, a lot of spots are just dead nothingness. But, I mean, overall, it was good. I just think that it's for the price of having that add-on. I don't really think it's worth it as of right now. All right, so that is going to wrap up our night here at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail in Plant City, Florida. Honestly, super great event for their 10th year, their 10th anniversary. I really did enjoy it. Um, highlights of my night, Wicked Waters, by far my favorite house. Got so many good scares in there, Ta uh, followed very closely by, by uh, Tales, Sir Henry's house. Loved that house, honestly, with all of like the, the kind of nostalgia of the event and the history that went into that house in particular. Thought that was really good. Like I said, kind of disappointed by that Haunted Hay ride, so it's kind of gonna be at the bottom. And I will say, the wolf costume for Moonlight Massacre was awesome. And it also had some really good scares in it as well. Overall, this event was super fun, and I cannot urge you guys enough to check out this event. Every year that I come here, I always say, you got to check it out, and this year is no different, especially for their 10th anniversary. You want to check out this event. They put so much time, effort, and money into this year's event to make it as best as they can. It is, it is top tier. I cannot say it enough. This event for a local haunt in the state of Florida is fantastic and a must do. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below. Are you planning coming out this year? I'd like to know. But as always, I'm Michael from Wild Thrills, giving you the all clear, and all clear means you're out of here. See you guys next time.